anyone born in the Western Hemisphere is a Native American. I'm an Oglala Lakota from the Pine Ridge Sioux Indian Reservation, which is still designated in the Defense Department as a prisoner of war camp number 44. You see, Indian people, we don't have any rights, any constitutional protections on the reservation whatsoever. No freedom of speech, no privacy. Wow, you Americans are in the same boat. in the 20th century. You have to specialize in Indian education of some sort, anthropology, history, and then go and dig in the archives of wherever in order to find out anything about us in the 20th century. So there you have it. Now, America, because of the irresponsibility of your forebearers and the irresponsibility of yourselves, you are now on the one huge Indian reservation. All policies, all policies were bred and born and birthed on, the, on an Indian reservation and then exported to the world and now comes, comes back on the backs of the American people. By the Congress of the United States, they sent in writing to the Six Nations Iroquois Confederacy, thanking them for their input into the Constitution and the formation of the United States of America. So you see, the Constitution is Indian law, and that's why I love it. The history of the Indian and the history of the American have now come full circle and were intertwined in the dictatorial policies of those that control the monetary system of America. And if they have done such a bad job of it that they're destroying themselves. <laughs> it's ludicrous at best. Where is the thicket? Gone. Where is the eagle? Gone. The end of living and the beginning of survival. <laughs> <laughs>